friendos, this is Pharaoh Crab. I'm Goharu. And I'm Sanitary Dan. Hey, Pharaoh Crab Studios, and welcome back to the Doki Madoki Dostivayan Lit Club. What happened? Uh oh. No, it's okay. Um, Pharaoh had a stroke. I didn't, I didn't even touch anything. No, 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 when you were trying to say <laughs> your intro egg. And. Last time I forgot what I already yes, had. So last, last time, continue. last time we stuffed some chocolates into Yuri's face. Uh, it got smeared everywhere. It was much less elegant. It was much less. Ele I made it sound much less elegant than it actually was. Uh, and the saga continues. Yes. And the saga <laughs> continues of Monica cockblocking your face. <laughs> Monica managed to ruin everything. As always. As always. And we're cleaning up tea, and then we're going to share poems. Because yay. I'll take care of the cups. We continue with the adventures of me <laughs> trying to woo the Soviet. Yes. The, 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 so the purple haired yeah. Soviet. Yes. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up with so much, without so much as a word. In the end, we're going to figure out you, Yuri's just part of the KGB. <laughs> I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. You just fed each other chocolate. I mean, we know who we have to say it to first. Yeah. Our bank. Our. Waifu. Let's see what you've written for today. Phone. Oh shit. Reading, reading, da, da, da. Da, re more reading? Ooh, ooh. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Is this about me? The chocolate? Do you like it? Said by. This one might be. This one might even be. Might even be better than yesterday's. How did you pick up on that so quickly? I took me years to do this. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Oh, um, sorry. Maybe that's why you did a good job explaining. I really wanted to give, try giving more imagery. Gulp. Yuri visibly swallows. Jeez, what was she swallowing? All the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Even her hands appear sweaty. It's not... I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know! It's fine, take your time. <laughs> Majestic. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. Off the floor. <laughs> I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Toast muffin. <laughs> I think that's other Dan. D hex. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds very stupid, really stupid. But seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me. You know, really happy. Dan <laughs> Kovich. Nothing, I didn't say anything. He said it. <laughs> that that is the word I said. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. <laughs> really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just level me. Do you really think that? Again, uh, Yuri nods. I mean, Natsuki thought so. Well, Natsuki is. About as soon as it is, get very yeah. different, opposite side of the spectrum. It's... Even your close friends? Uh, uh. Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. This fits with you. Yeah. The raccoon. Ooh. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a bread, bled, bread, bread, <laughs> bread, guilty snack. Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> What's your language? No. <laughs> Pharaoh. <laughs> my attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window, so I sliced it instead. I mean, what? That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my very strange tendencies of as, as an unordinary human. What? I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious aware of the consequences. Well aware that the raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge, what? The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more life off of my cutting knife. 
the very same light the set distance in the eyes of my raccoon friend. And, and I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions into the newly satisfied now. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently. So, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic uh, Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. For those of you who don't know Pavlov, uh, just look up Pavlov. You'll you'll know what that means. Yes, we're making you do research for the purpose of understanding a poem written by a girl in a visual novel. A Russian girl, in this case. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can tell. Is this a metaphor? Is am I the raccoon in this metaphor? Oh. I can see that. Well, so, uh, well, in the in the poem, she's feeding raccoon, but but in the but you were feeding her. No, no, no. I think I think the the rac I think the the bread is a metaphor for. Oh my! Like, oh, give me Pharaoh. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I can't help myself. I think I think it's writing advice. That's yeah. the bread. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. It's a lot more metaphorical. I said that. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't imagine to <laughs> begin to imagine what this poem is about. It's about. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. <laughs> Using the poem as a canvas to vi express vivid imagery and conveying emotions to do them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's the sort of things I am usually forced to keep to myself. Um, so, I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Eh, be because... Got both hands on the chest. Embarrassing! And people would make fun of me. Everyone does it. Oh, she's got bumps in her head. I mean, it's probably more... Maybe they're demon horns hidden under her chair. Or maybe that's just... People will make fun of me! I know... All I know is that people find this game really weird, so I honestly can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> no. I, I think we're joking. I'm joking. Don't you have anything like that, senpai? Well... Yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. Oh my. <laughs> The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes. And some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I haven't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. See? Being normal is boring. Being weird is awesome. Don't be, uh... Don't be a boring bastard. Nah, I forgot. You're welcome. I, I might be ranting a little bit now. But I'm glad you're a, you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things. Hey! <laughs> Writing! Listening! Pretending I know what I'm talking about. There really aren't many people like you, senpai. Not a lot of people stuff chocolate in my face. <laughs> right when I want chocolate in my face. But that's exaggerating a little bit. It's just how I feel. I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing. But now I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling. And you have to thank for that. It's it's nothing really. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. For just a moment her timidness seems to disappear. Wait. Okay, who's next? Uh one of you is Koharu. Monaco or Sayori. Sayori? Ellipse. <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> Ooh, you too. I like this one, senpai. Picks out a cookie. It has some nice feelings in it. More cookie. Uh, I'm glad. That's me. You're glad. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Mm, let me think. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I like them both. 
Okay. <laughs> Why not both? Yay! Ow, my oh, I'm sorry. It's not very helpful, you know. Natsuki uh, appeared for a second. <laughs> I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. Fuck. Shut up. But that's just why I go with my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Besides, you had feelings stirred in you by a cookie thrown in your face. <laughs> then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah! Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> It's like my music taste. What do I listen to? What don't I listen to? Yeah. Rap. I don't listen to rap. Yeah. Political. Ugh. There isn't political music. Yeah, there is. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aw, you want me to write something for me? You want to write something for me? That's so sweet. No, I want to write something for Yuri. Yeah, Shut great. <laughs> but you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. What? It's the cookie face. The cookie! Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. She looks so confused. <laughs> I <browse. laughs> She's like, what the heck? She's like, oh, uh, whatever. It needs to be a meme. Anyway, let's see. Hmm, I guess I like it. Happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? Um... Hold on. Putting down the spot. No, it's coming to me. Like Schizophrenic! <laughs> <laughs> Bipolar? <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Huh. Ah, yeah, no, I was thinking of the sense. wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sue. Well, 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 it's sad when you run out of cookie. That's true. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. Aww. Aww. That's actually a pretty cute. Way you know what that know. reminds me of? It reminds me of the thing I saw on the internet Something somewhere. stupid. That's my response for a lot of things. It's bad. But anyway, like, I saw a thing that's like, it was like, I'm never afraid of the dark because instead of thinking as the dark as something mean, I always think of it as, as whenever it's dark as, some, as the darkness is trying to give me a big hug. <laughs> Dark and very gentle place. Dark Souls 3 reference. And make a nice happy rainbow. And that, you see, when a rain cloud and a sad poem love each other very much, a rainbow falls out of the sky. Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. You should write that shit down. Eh, is it? <laughs> write that shit down right now! Majestic Wait, I mean, really. Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. We're not even so talking I much. I should go write that down then. I called it! You can read my poem now, okay? Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. Oh. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tight. Tingly. Tightly. 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 But Tight there's lines. no time to waste. I put it in a bottle and keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles all in a row. My collection makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make animals. To make amends. <laughs> <laughs> animals? I can't read. <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. What was it? My, my, my doctor gave me a prescription for daily sex, but my uh, girlfriend keeps insisting it says dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that. I remember that one. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like... <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help uh, us. We were all thinking it. <laughs> the next oh, good. After. Exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets of the and nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. Moist. <laughs> <laughs> I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time's elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends threw through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. If they come in such a hurry, do they want my bottles that much? 
I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. Oh, shit. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, tweeting, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. That took a dark turn. Huh. But, I, but I mean, I cannot understand what she means. Oh, yeah. I mean, holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? No, I got it off the internet. <laughs> I mean, of course I did. Uh, Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but, I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. <laughs> and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. Oh, I blush! I feel like... You're always blushing, but this is more blush than normal. I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. So there, but now it's like to the nose. Yeah. Full face. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best! I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Oh, shit. That's not ominous or anything. Don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's always had a, had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no matter no more than a week later. It's not a phase! Too late! <laughs> I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Yeah, I know it's hard for you, Dan. Natsuki, I think. Okay, okay, I gotta, I gotta prepare my voice. Oh boy. Throat massage. Doobie 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 doobie. Throat chop. Well, I can admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. That's good. But I still don't like this at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying too hard to be serious. Huh? What do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. I'm being very expressive with my head right now. It, it's just going, it's going to just sound like you're forcing it unless you really, unless you really don't suck at it like that Gary. <laughs> so honestly, don't bother. Yeah. Try to write poems See, like don't this. spray it. I'm trying it. Never go. <laughs> don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. Oh shit, I was just crap. Natsuki stopped short all of a sudden. Crap, I just. D don't tell me! Eh? You're not, you're not trying to impress Yuri, are you? Uh -oh. oh shit, she's on to you. That's exactly what I. What? What are you talking about? Hey, keep your voice down. You know Yuri would love this kind of. This. This kind of. This angsty. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean... I mean... Ugh. Looks like I'm in trouble. Oh, I somehow struck a nerve, in trouble. So I somehow struck a nerve that what I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. Fuck you all and jump out of the window. I'm harping on this, but I really like her eyes. Yeah, I thought before you said they were creepy. You're going back and forth. Yeah, I said they, I said they were weird. Mm. But weird can be good. That's true. Like unicorns. Dragons. Half 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 horse, half narwhal. Me. N Natsuki shoves the poem I handed her back handed her back over to me. Shit. Take your stupid poem! If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. I have no choice, the game won't let me go any farther. <laughs> Ouch. This is what I get for yet letting a younger girl step into my business. Oh, oh dang. great, now I'm being ageist. Which is totally word, and anyone who thinks otherwise is ageist. ageist. Yes. <laughs> Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Ah, the game knows. Dude, the game is on you. didn't get to read hers. You're right. Well, I guess she was just so angry. I've pissed her off too much. 
So, like, if you tried to focus on that Suki, would Yuri get pissy at you, too? Maybe, because they do hate each other, it seems like. And then, and what else would we do to Sayori? Would they just go melancholy? Oh, yeah, and then maybe Monica would be like, oh, it's my turn. I mean, you can't really write one for Monica, though. I, th I think what it would well, be... Well, not yet. I, I think they did... She's the final well, what do you mean, not yet? They didn't like... Well, they didn't... I don't think they didn't like each other. I think they just had a writing style difference, and... They're sort of and, and it became like the Cold War, where it was just an idea. Lob lobbying for my favor. Yeah. Well, and the, it's that that's. I'm. It's like. The minor contrast of Paris of the South. Yeah, but I was, I was telling this to Dan earlier between episodes. I haven't, like, actually played through this game, so I'm not really sure, but, um. In a lot of uh, romance visual novels, they have the, like, final boss sort of speak where you have to complete everyone else's route first and then you unlock them. So at some point I believe we'll be able to write poems for Monica and pursue her romantically. But anyway If we want to, I mean Yeah. We're kinda of, we're, we're kinda of after you. Trying to tactically apply the D. Yeah, we, have, <laughs> we have to the do, we, have, we have to do everyone. Take that as you will. Oh do. my because we have to get the true ending of this game. Yes. I don't know. Hi again, Senpai? How's the writing going? I'd like to reinstate how much I love the fact that I named my character Sam. <laughs> you, you see, whenever I say it, you're like, yeah, I love that I did this. And whenever Pharaoh says it, you're like, oh, I really shouldn't have done that. No, 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 no. What, what is this? Oh, yeah, you, you got a point there, Carl. But you're taking me sarcastically when I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh -huh. All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going to be bad. Oh, damn. Like milk? Get dunked on. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Better than I do in school! <laughs> Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never I like how you just casually do the awkward back ne back of neck rub. Yeah. Yes, you can't like, in real life. You need you need a you need a, a, a camera. Maybe. You need or a one camera. that works. So you can see me doing the um Anime awkward behind the head scratch. Yeah, and then I'll be able to see Pharaoh swing his head back whenever yes. he's speaking as not give himself, Suki. Give himself whiplash as Natsuki. <laughs> oh shit. Wanna share what you wrote for me? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dan. <laughs> shit. I got the glasses so I could grow crops on my heart now. <laughs> <laughs> Irrigation. Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Ellipse. <laughs> That's a Natsuki thing. Right. Not, uh, say Ori. This one's good. It Just feels good. like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style. But Yuri as well. <laughs> the is better than the last one. I mean... Low-hanging fruit. Uh. <laughs> yes. Have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? I called it again! I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I'm not... No, but I'm not make a joke or anything. I think her Jay. poems are the most... Romantic. Ooh. That's how to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. Ding. Mm-hmm. Her, her, her eyes just start. Uh, like headlights. <laughs> Lasers. Like cats. <laughs> Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. But trust me, I've tried. Yeah, because you keep just jumping in on personal moments. But who knows what's going on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I, I could just imagine it just being like the Pyromaniac video from TF2. <laughs> that video. You probably shouldn't play with that right next to the Right. <laughs> Crap. Uh, Fer Pharaoh's Newton Cradle is incredibly distracting. I you, just meant... You... Oh, I was just gonna make a joke about how Pharaoh likes balls. <laughs> God damn it, you ass I, I'm glad that I stopped so you can say that. I hate you all, go die like Worthwhile commentary. I will glue your faces shut. <laughs> Ooh, he's even got some glue. I do have glue. That's I my just, rocket glue. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep to herself so much. But still, defending her like that. I want her to love me. You must be pretty into her. Ooh. Zero G hair. <laughs> Eh? That guy's really correct. Completely, completely misunderstood. Uh, calm down, I'm kidding. Or am I? The, the, she's like, I told you. Besides, I'm the pretty sure she's know. already got a boyfriend. Oh, shit! Dan! Dan! How dare you! How dare, how dare I act on information that <laughs> I didn't know? Fair enough. This is why you need to pay attention to gossip. As I never do that ever. Hey, um, sort of... Sorry, there are two places in this. The street and this class. No, there's the hallway. 
That Fine. Is true. Three that we've seen. I will do it. The closet will be part of it at some point. Oh my! If you go, oh my goodness! <laughs> I will Wait. destroy you. <laughs> I know. Wait, really? Yeah, a oh. fictional one, anyway. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. Sorry, what was that we were saying? We might as well forget all of it now. <laughs> it's just a hunch, but... Like that, that's a hunch. Yeah. The opposite, like a reverse hunch. Reverse hunch, yeah. Well, oh, that's weird. Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. She's got the bumps, too. It's just a hairstyle that you're in the anime. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway, you want to read I wish your boyfriend was boyfriend was being absolutely small. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do, too. All, All right. right, let's take a look. You're mine. Save. Save. Oh, good. It's my I know, I'm just, I was just reading the title. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. RGB everything. <laughs> and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. Cacophony. Cacophony. I know words sometimes. Sometimes. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, gritting waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. So good like paying, so good like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Ugh. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. Oh damn, we ate pizza. An endless poem of meaningless. There's more scroll. Load me. What? What? Hmm. Oh, get save load. Ah. Uh, oh, get like go up like RGB like. Is this a computer metaphor? S T B F R O A C O. Wait, what? Racon. No, it's not one of those. Anyway. Huh. Load me. Oh, God. That's weird. <laughs> hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Uh huh. I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you didn't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. I can tell. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of a poem. It's almost like magic. Wow, it's like someone said that already. Before. Yeah, it's uh, Sayori. The way I write wrote those lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see, Sayori. It's still hard for, to, for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Like chocolate? <laughs> or as conversation or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway. Why do you gotta show me up like this, Monica? Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Do, 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 do. It's the WTP or WTD. <laughs> Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Wait. Mm. What? You never know when you might change your mind. Speaking what? of, yay, saving. Ready to save it on a different, never mind. Too late. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What is Was that a fourth wall break? This reminds me of in The Legend of Zelda, when they tell you, uh, you know, swing the Wii remote yeah. to attack. Yeah, whatever that is. Whatever the Wii remote is. Yeah. What am I even talking what? about? Oh, was that a fourth, uh -huh. was that a fourth wall break right there? Yes. That's my advice for today. The more you know. Ding. Ow, shit. I hurt my ears. ears. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Sorry, those with headphones. Wait. All right, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Is another fight gonna break out? Fight! 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 I have something extra planned today, so if everybody could come sit at the front of the room... We're gonna play Spin the Bottle! We're gonna, we're gonna summon a demon! Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Why do you remember the bird when you do that head turn? Me. Me. Hey, that's a key. Alright. Ugh! Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Bless you. Exactly. Again, we'll, we'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. We get another dude. Oh shit, this is getting real. <laughs> Goes after Yuri. Oh fuck no. <laughs> uh, that's a concern of mine. Oh shit. Fuck, places. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry. I need so a five much. year plan. We're going to keep it simple, Sorry. okay? 
We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets that we can give out during the event. What? Are they all of this possible? Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Big sale, Natsuki. Oh, no, I but then Sayori will just eat it all. That's true. Ah, uh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Oh, fuck what? Performing? Vero <laughs> <laughs> feels confident about this. Oh, fuck. But, <laughs> uh, Monica? Yeah, we're gonna be having a poetry performance. I hate you. Poetry? Why can't we do anything with prose? Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. No one else will. Sayori is putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Don't be such a pessimist. <laughs> Drink. Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't. You didn't already start putting these posters up, did you? Eh, well, I did. <laughs> Do you really think that's bad of an idea? Very responsible. <laughs> Very- that's a good way to get people moving. Well, no. It's not a bad idea. It's just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't sign up for this, you know. Well, you signed up for the club. There is no way I am going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. Do I know what the next person's gonna say? I I'd agree with Natsuki. Oh wow, we've got agreement between the two of them. Oh, Whoa. I have a hunch. Hmm. I could never in my life do something like that. Oh, someone got stage fright. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. <laughs> Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple of days ago. I don't know. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud. I find it funny how Yuri, how Yuri just looks kind of like, like, eh, and then Natsuki's just absolute pissed. <laughs> the tooth, the tooth. Uh, you can still. There's a lot of teeth there. Yeah, there's a lot of teeth, but it's the one. That... I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. The 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 late wrong one. But. <laughs> but. I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. Because we're the only ones in the club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! Seducing at cute anime girls. Yes. It's about expressing your feelings. So being up. intimate with yourself. Oh god. Finding new horizons. Oh my. And having fun. Mm. <laughs> having entirely too much fun with this fair. <laughs> Not That's right. And it's though for those reasons that we'll all be in this club today. Wait, I read that wrong. Mostly. That's fine. Do you want to share that with others? Ba -ba 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 -ba? Yuri's just like no. <laughs> to inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place? I know you well, do. Minus? I have a squeaky chair. Please don't squeak the chair. I know we all do. <laughs> and if it takes, and if all it takes is staying in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Eh. Do it. Super blood. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. That was a very Sayori looks worried. Very. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Yeah, but that... Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. What? We out... Uh, okay, fine! There's always a limit to argument. There's never any limit to stubbornness. Mm. You haven't met my mother. I guess that'll... I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? It... Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Sigh. <laughs> I guess I don't have any, really, I don't really have a choice. Uh -huh, that's everyone. Yay, we've bullied two more people into complying. <laughs> Go us. Comply or else. Yuri. What's the face, ready? 
Oh, no, it changed, didn't change. This, this club is seriously going to be the death of me. I wish those two would change places. Oh yeah, so then I'm gonna be tallest to shortest. But then I wouldn't piss you off. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine, Yuri. Mm. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. Main event? I thought that was the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them. It's the one together. that starts with lust. <laughs> <laughs> the, the no way! The tooth! Moni Monica! This is too sudden! This is like French all of a sudden. Shut up your face! Yuri, the one with the undecided accent. <laughs> well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Yuri has an accent! What kind? <laughs> Eastern. Something. Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off just to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Yuri's just like. Can I go next? Uh, of course. Now let's Can see. I go last? Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. Plan she days ahead. ahead. Yeah. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ooh. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. Ooh, more big words. Is that the opposite of reflection? No. Maybe. I don't know, because they're applied in different ways. I'm going with no. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Except me, apparently. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. That's a majestic face. <laughs> you can't see what he's doing, but Good. it's awesome. We should make that- we should take a picture of that and make it a thumbnail. No. <laughs> Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Yay! Yay! Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll go next. Ooh, I think she senses competition. What will it Oh, I hear he's all fired up all of a sudden. You can do the little noises much better than I can. Yuri clutches <coughs> a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just gonna die real quick. Keeping her hand down, she walks quickly over to the podium. Scuttle, scuttle. This poem is gold. Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called At the Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. It's about the Soviet Union. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering voice transform her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirlwind fire that Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Dot, 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 exclamation point. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around at her as if she were bewildered even herself. Aye. It's up to me to save this situation. Me to the rescue! Da, 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 falls on face. <laughs> I'm the first to start applauding. Woo! Captain Senpai. <laughs> Everyone oh, joins me afterwards, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rush bas ba bleh, rushes back to her into her seat. Can anyone who's her chest? I'm sorry. But I'm not. And any <laughs> anyone who's ever given a uh, presentation in school has some idea of what this is like. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. It. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay. Oh. I guess I'm next then. Let me guess, let me guess. Is not Suki gonna hop up? Oh, nope. Oh, or not. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. Natsuki throws Suki at face. This one's called Mind Meadow. Uh, uh, 
sorry, I giggled. You got, you got, you did it. Oh shit. <laughs> sorry. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. Imagine everyone in their underwear. That might you get a automatically looks at your <laughs> <laughs> That's not helping! It's your poem, so it'll come out the best way. It'll come out the best no, that way. No, well, so, no, no, imagine everyone's in their, head, in their underwear. Nosebleed! <laughs> your, your nose is bleeding, is it? <laughs> Boom! I see, I see. Oh shit. Okay then. My nose started bleeding for no reason. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. The back of my head is very itchy. Scratch, 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 scratch. If I was a cat, I'd be purring. <laughs> Gorillas can purr too. Fun fact. No way. Yeah. That's so interesting. That's you know what else is interesting? April, <laughs> April, 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 April Fool's Day and Easter Sunday are the same day this year. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true as well. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply in, into someone that I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. Wow. I did it! Good job, Sayori. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Even Senpai liked it. <laughs> I guess that's a good sign. <laughs> What does that even mean? <laughs> it came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Uh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where the sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, now I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. The back arch. The back arch of... They all have that. The back arch of... They do! <laughs> also, like... Has anyone else noticed how Sayori's, like... Like, jacket... Coat thingamajig... Shirt thingamajig is, like, unbuttoned... Yeah, like, when everyone else is... It's like fish scales. Yeah. Holy shit. Just to confirm Sayori's a mermaid. <laughs> we don't have much time before the festival, you know? We never see... Yeah, you, you kind of see legs every once in a while. Hey, you can you can trust him because he's really paying attention. <laughs> hey, 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 okay. hey! I ain't bad, Denver fool. Now who's next? Natsuki. Fuck off! <laughs> Don't make me go before Santa. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Oh, Might as well that senpai lower everyone's standards <laughs> a little before I Aww. have to do it. Burn! Natsuki! Roasted it's like a fire! Fine, it's fine. Might as well get it over with. It's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. So Natsuki does hey, it! Right. Poem. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautifully read. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Oh, it's with someone calling my name. Okay. Ha, ah, that makes me happy. Do, 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 do. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awful. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think the le it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. Oh, damn. Oh, uh, thanks. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine it's you. I'm going. She walks out the door. Natsuki begrudgingly <laughs> gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. Stomps. This poem is called... It's called... Why are you looking at me? Because you're presenting. Because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called... Jump. Yeah, you're <laughs> well. Always remember to jump. Jump! <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts re reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. Just a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. 
Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. Sure she huffs back to her seat. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say! You better not make me do that again. Well, you haven't had to. Uh, well, did you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? Fuck no. <laughs> I mean, doing it in front of other people would be way easier. I could put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. Yeah, I feel the same way sometimes. Yeah, you're way better at this. Her eyes are in the shape of Pokeballs. <laughs> oh my god. Why would right. you notice this now? I have a lot of time on my hands. That's a surprise, oh my. Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so. <laughs> well, I guess in that case, you won't have to worry. You won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get good enough practice before the festival, okay? Get good scrubs. I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Ah, uh, yeah, no, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try our best to write poems for tomorrow as well. Not it's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish playing tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. All right. I stand up and There's sit back down. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club, or the sake of, sake of the club, if we're talking the rice wine that they make in Japan. And impressive Monica. That's fine. I was right about the drug part. Then I'll have to do my best. <laughs> Ready to go. Ready to go, Sayori? She popped up on the screen. <laughs> oh, you're stealing one of them. Sorry. In my ear, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you two always going home together like that. We do live next to each other. Yeah. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? But everyone... <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It, it must be a little nice, though. Well... No, he just has to walk uh, everyone home. How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Senpai. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go. Right. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on their way home. Hey, Sayori. Yo. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um... I was thinking about something from earlier. That's always dangerous. I like how we get to... I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? Just kind do of... it! You're kind of putting me on the spot here. Mm -hmm. Oh. You could probably uh, walk home with Yuri. If what? Oh, Lord. This is the question. Yay, Yuri. Sure, why not? Can make... Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? Aha, my character is. Well, I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I'd feel awful turning her down, so. Isn't she so beautiful and smart? Oh shit, where did that come that from? It has nothing to do with what I just said. That's how girls are. <laughs> you admitted it. Yeah, you know better than I do. Uh, they can see right through it. Yeah. Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never gonna happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore. Oh, what the fuck? You know? Aw, oh, she's jealous. I need you. Say or you... I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. 
Everyone. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. If you say so. The conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what'll happen at that time. And that's the end of this episode. Yeah, that was a long episode. Yes. Well, thank you for watching us. Yep, this has been fair. Nice okay. around with... Don't. Uh, yeah. Yep. So this has been Pharaoh Crab. This is Koharu. Hey, this is uh, Sanitary Dan. Crab out! <laughs>